Okay. Let's go over the folder hierarchy and how it affects your files. All right. When I assigned the folder hierarchy assignment, I had you make a bouncing ball, dialogue assignment, a beat board, character design, and a final project folder. And there are supposed to be two subfolders in your final project uh, folder, one for Maya, one for After Effects. Now, I am going to show you what happens when you create something in After Effects and something goes wrong with the folder hierarchy, like a map, any kind of asset being changed, whether it is named differently or put in a different place. So let's do the planet assignment really quick. So I'm going to hit Command I, insert this map from the assets folder that I created, and drag it to the layers palette, make this a proper size, 1920 by 1080. Then go to effects and presets, type in CC sphere, drag it onto the map, and there's our planet. What you do? All right, so imagine you going through a learning arc. And doing a lot more to this, like adding sparkles and everything. And all of a sudden, you want to open your project again. Let me say this in the proper spot. Save as. I'll call this Planet Demo. And this is under the After Effects Parent folder. Planet Demo. All right, now imagine you go through, go through all of that. You do the assignment, you quit After Effects, and you go home and then come back to class. Now imagine if you didn't save this map in the right spot. Seem a lot of you just, you know, put assets, you know, just on rand in random folders. So, Let's open up our file, Planet Demo. In After Effects, is going to complain. After Effects, one file missing since you last saved this project. It can't find that map. I'm going to put the map in the right place. Back in the assets folder where it belongs. After Effects. Assets. Then right click on the map and say reload footage. It found it again. Now, what if you get clumsy and rename it? You're talking with your friends, you're not paying attention. And you rename it. It's not going to look... Oh. Usually it doesn't lose it right away, but After Effects decided, yes, I, want to I am going to lose this map right away. And it seems to work at first. But you're going to get the color bars again. Let's try to do something with it. There you go. Yeah, so you try to do something with it, After Effects is like, I cannot find this asset. And then you will have to go through. At least it's easy to find in, in After Effects. Toon Boom, not so much. Replace footage, file. And instead of a Mars map, you have to import a Dars map. Now, folder hierarchy is important. You do not want Maya and After Effects 
corrupting, which is what my which is what uh Maya will do, and After Effects will just drop the files and just enter color bars, which which gets extremely annoying and frustrating when you're nearly finished with the project and you're ready to render and it renders color bars and you missed it because files get to be a lot more complicated than this planet assignment. So when you create your folder hierarchy, I'm going to make an animation folder. I'm going to call this animation, pardon me, animation one, and create the folders. I specify be born. I'm going to make it lowercase just in case there are problems. Be bored. Let's make a folder, new folder. Call this dialogue. The faster way is just to hit Command Shift N. Be bored. There was a bouncing ball. There was a character design assignment. Command shift N again. Whoops, and beware of that. Make sure you are choosing the right par uh, parent folder before creating a new one. Proper parent folder selected. Now, type in the column. Command shift N, and this is final project. In final projects folder, they get the subfolder Maya and another After Effects and After Effects always has an asset folder. All right, so do this exercise, it's important. Do not skip this exercise. Um, it is, a, it is a summative, and you, if you don't do it, your projects will end up in disaster. I can't stress this enough. Complete the folder hierarchy assignment.